Oh my goodness, it's Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. Oh my goodness, guys. Guys, it's it's Zabumafu. O M G. Look at him. He's just chilling. Feeling like a villain. He's not a cat. <laughs> They're so cute. I wanted Look to see him do like, an, you remember the show where like when he like did this like little run, he's like. <laughs> you know that they don't like actually really do that. Oh look, he's, under, he's grabbing his tail. That he's like drinking. He's like, this is my tail. Where's it going? And bye. <laughs> okay, so this wilderness explorer right here was super excited because he got to meet I got to meet Doug and Russell. I got so. to meet Doug and Russell, and he like seriously took a picture, which I, which Robbie will put in like here, here. And uh, it was just him like holding his shirt, like he was just so excited to be like, <gasps> I'm wearing my wilderness. I belong shirt with Doug and Russell. Oh my gosh. So, but they're they're Anyways. the best. The little kid in front of us called him a little mailman, <laughs> which was pretty funny. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. And then we saw the lemurs that are here behind us. Um, yeah. But so. next, PBS we have a fast kids. pass for dinosaur. Yeah, and then I think that. Um, we have a safari fast pass too. I think that there might be like some sort of like dino Donald situation. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Yeah. So what's the Meet the Robinsons line? big head and little arms I'm beginning to think this plan wasn't as well thought out as I was led to believe or something close to that but this is still one of my favorite cues in a moment you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past hello there so, we just got off of Dinosaur. Yeah, I'm so tall now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you, time travel must do really great for your height, or bad for mine. It's all a decompression of yeah. the lumbar joints. Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Um, this is the second time we've been on Dinosaur this trip, and both times we've had parents put their kids on that are terrified, screaming and crying on the way out. It is a, it is a it is thrilling, a, intense. Yeah. Attraction. It, it, it's not Magic Kingdom, <laughs> but we had a good time on it. It was cool seeing the old uh, ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Yep, I approve of the whole ride experience, and I approve of ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Yep. So speaking of food, we're gonna go see if we can get some flame tree barbecue. Yeah, so we've never had flame tree barbecue before. We never want to wait in line, but it opens in three minutes. So I think we're gonna hopefully rope drop second rope drop of the day, but I think we're gonna hopefully not have to wait too long in line. I know they have mobile order, but I wanna do the full experience. Yeah. All right, Al, what do we got? So we finally are trying flame tree barbecue. We got the- Four hours later. Yeah, it was a long line. So we got the triple combo with ribs, chicken, and pulled pork. And then Robbie got the loaded fries that yeah. are pulled pork, cheese, and uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah. And we got a giant Coke Zero. Which is gonna be my favorite. So we just finished eating at Flame Tree Barbecue. For quick service, that was a fantastic meal. But hoopty doo ribs and chicken were better. The beans were good. How? Like the coleslaw. I don't eat coleslaw, so I don't know. It had, it had like a apple flavor to it. Don't know. And then the fries were Disney fries, but they tasted really good, so. But we're getting ready to go see Hallie's uh, favorite Disney princess. I don't know if I would call Pocahontas my favorite princess because I do love Moana and Tiana. But who's VHS and, copy? And Hansi. But who's VHS copy? Well, yeah, I guess she's the OG. Because I totally did like ruin a VHS copy of Pocahontas because I watched it so much. And there you have it. So we're waiting for Pocahontas and 
these guys are over here sleeping. So every time I see a porcupine, it makes me think of Homeward Bound, when that scene where um, Chance gets smacked in the face. Oh, what do you got on your shirt? I got a raccoon. Oh. Also known as trash can. Is it Rocket? No. It's the best Disney raccoon. Oh. Nico. Oh. I'm full of unpopular opinions. Or, or this what? Trip. Wait, what about the Incredibles raccoon that fought Jack Jack? No. Mika. I mean, they look the same. Mika. Oh my god. Uh, who's coming? Oh my god. Who's coming? Is it, is it Rocket? No. Who is it? Hey, Miko. High five. Yeah! You ready? He totally does. He deserves it. I vote yes. <laughs> it's very nice to see you too. And of course the Mighty Warrior. I imagine she made you do all the rowing in the canoe. Oh, very much so. Oh, and she's making you carry all this. Food. Yep. I'm the alpaca. Yep. Yep. Miko can all. Miko. Miko, you can. Have you stolen any snacks from Percy lately? Um, Percy, no. But me, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's doing it when no one's looking. If you want some snacks, I mean, <laughs> you want some? That's not, you have to, you can just beg. You can say, please. <laughs> maybe next time. Sharing we'll see what we got. concept he's still struggling with. It's okay. So maybe, look at me with those eyes. That's how he gets his way. I know. <laughs> Do you have the animals in that same I have, I have a cat that looks like Miko. Do you have a yeah. picture of that? Oh, we sure do. Too. You want to? Oh yeah, I can pull one out. We should plan a play date together. Yeah. Maybe that's how you'll learn how to share is by having like a kindred spirit with you. Mag wasn't very good at sharing though. Maybe extra snacks then. <laughs> like I'm trying to find it on demand. No, you're quite and I all right. This gives Miko like extra time for us to think of his point. Right. Like, but what? yeah. But yeah, she was a main coon, so. A main. Coon. Yeah, so a giant cat. Oh, big fluffy, big paws. Probably gives really good snuggles like you do at night. It does look like you, Miko. <laughs> look. Oh my goodness. Yes, we'll have to have that play date happen. Definitely. Okay. So, overreaction party of me. Um, so, in addition to getting to meet Pocahontas, Miko accompanied her today and as soon as he started walking out I started like tearing up like full on castle show feels uh, because I don't know if we said it in the vlog before but uh, when I was younger um, Pocahontas was like my jam because it was somewhat historical so it was something that like my parents was like oh yeah you can watch Pocahontas that's that's cool so, I have gotten to meet Pocahontas before, but I did not get to meet Miko before. And when he started walking up the path, because he's kind of a rare character to meet. Oh yeah, that's exciting and to see him too. I started like, full on, like, I'm still like, I don't know if you can tell, like, I'm like kind of crying because I was so excited. <laughs> so yeah, but I had my little baby Poca shirt on and we got a group photo and they looked at pictures of our cat because i told miko that my cat looked like him and so they were like oh let it show us show us pictures so yeah i pulled a picture of mag and showed it to miko and so like they've met in real life and in case you haven't seen our cat before she she did pass away this year but we'll put in her picture here still my favorite disney raccoon I don't know. Rock is pretty darn cool. I don't know, but now I need to recover because we have a fast pass for the safari. 
so. And we're gonna have to go run over to it because it I had ends a, in about 10 minutes. I had a, I had an extra, extra overreaction to, the, hey, it's to okay. meeting Pocahontas and Miko, but it was fantastic. If you guys are ready for your safari on the count of three, I'm going to, you're gonna say Twende, which means let's go. Are you ready? One, two, three. Twende! Let's go. On the left hand rhino. side is the black rhino. The black rhino is the smallest of the rhino family, weighing only 3,000 pounds. A bloat of hippos is a group. B-L-O-A-T, a bloat of hippos. On the left hand side also are the pink back pelicans. Now friends, the hippopotamus really does not swim. They actually walk along the bank of the river and they float. The word float rhymes with bloat. A baby hippo weighs about 85 pounds at birth. Remember we said that about the okapi? What that means is the giraffe's tongue is like a finger. Its tongue is 18 inches long. It can stretch its tongue out 18 inches, grab a specific branch, remove all the leaves from that branch with its purple tongue. A giraffe's tongue color is purple because the color purple will not get sunburn. A group of giraffes, a group of giraffe is called a tower. Hey guys, over on the left is a young baby elephant. I'm going to stop here and give you guys a photo up. That one's awfully beautiful. The other one's flapping its ears as well. It means it's overheated. The beautiful pink birds on the left on the island are known as the greater flamingo. The greater flamingo get their beautiful color because of their diet. They eat brine shrimp, and brine shrimp are high in beta carotene, turning their feathers that beautiful color pink. There's a a human group of in flamingos, there. friends, are you ready for this? A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. A flamboyance of flamingo. Now, if you think that's humorous, guys, you should try to say flamboyant flamingo five times. That is another white rhino. So big. Also laying here in the dirt and also on the left hand side as we're passing is the Bonte you. buck. The Bonte buck is almost extinct today in the wild friends. There are only 250 Bonte bucks actually on reserves. Again, a need for conservation. Wow. Oh wait, nope. There's a sleepy one right there. I see him. Oh my gosh, look at that snout. Yeah, they're actually trying to stay as cool as possible when it starts to get warm. They try to they head for the shade. I want to I'm sorry that some of you don't have a don't, better view. Don't they're boop down that in snoot. the back near the caves. That snoot will boop back. A friend of mine said, hey Brian, stay away from those ostrich. They have a wicked kick that actually will break the jaw of a lion. Wow. So if you're running away from a lion, stay Directly away from ahead of us, guys, you'll see that the ostrich laid some eggs. Those ostrich eggs weigh an average of three pounds a piece. Like wow. And they're, they're equal to uh, about two dozen chicken eggs. The shells are so tough that I'd be able to jump up and down on all those eggs and they would not crack or break. What about the rhino? We're gonna... So we just got off of the safari. What'd you think? Our driver was really good. He uh, very educational, made it fun for the kids. Yeah, uh, it was a good time. The train might be starting, so we might have to pause. But, but where, where are we going now? Sit well back in your seat. We are going to the animation experience. Ooh, he just closed the door. Uh, we're going to the animation experience at Rafiki's Planet Watch. Are you excited? My drawing skills are not very good. What nightmare will you draw next? Probably it's someone from the Lion King, I think. Yeah. We saw lots of animals from the Lion King today on our safari. Yeah, we did. My favorite was the white rhino. That's not from the Lion King. No, that was my favorite animal on the safari. Oh. I love the Okapi, but I didn't see him because he was on the other side of the truck. The ostriches are scary, though. They're like right there. Their feet are so huge. Let me get my sheet of paper here. With some drawings as you walk in. Hey girl. Oh look at Louie. He's so cute. Okay. 
This is so fun. I love that they've added all of this. So quickly, I'm doing a quick pass. They're over there. But back here, we have like, some information about the animation experience, which if you have time, and definitely check it out. About like taking inspiration from nature. Very cool, and how they use the animal kingdom conservation efforts and the animals here. Okay, so I didn't realize that we're just like in the same room, so sorry if there was like an abrupt cut off because we were trying to squeeze in the middle of the row. Um, but it looks totally different in here from when we were last in here. So we just got done with the Animation Academy at uh, Rafiki's Planet Watch. I forgot the name of it for a second. Um, it was super fun. Uh, I wanted to film a little bit more in that area. They've done such a good job of transforming that space and making it into an Animation Academy experience. Um, there's all sorts of fun uh, progression of sketches. Uh, they have a lot of uh, highlights of previous Disney animating legends like Mary Blair um, and they had some information about how they use the animals here at Animal Kingdom and how they've used animals in the past as inspiration for the Disney characters that we all know and love. Okay Robbie, so show me your sketch from the animation experience. That's my sketch. You can see the detail. Oh, oh wait. No, no. <laughs> so we drew Scar, if I you can kind of tell. Robbie did a really good job on the right side of the face right here. Look at that. I fell asleep. That's so good. I fell asleep. But so tell us your tell us your tale. Um I started nodding and when my pencil went which you can tell, I could tell it was time to stop. To point out where your pencil went when you fell asleep. Right so there, this you can tell, like under his nostril too, like you, I think you. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. way to go, babe. Great I'm job. I'm tired. It's okay. I tried. <laughs> you did. A plus. Hers is so good, and she got it signed by the, the guy that did so our... So, Don, the animator that helped us with our animation experience, signed mine, because I thought, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah. Plus, I had a little bit of time beforehand. I did some lettering on it, so whatever. Nice. It was fun. Yeah, so tell you, it, and you did a good job drawing on your shirt too. Ah ha ha! You're hilarious. All right, so that's gonna do it for this day. Um, We've been at Animal Kingdom now since before seven o'clock, and it's now ooh, bug everywhere. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> Okay, it's so tough to be a bug. It is tough to be a bug, especially when I'm swatting at you. Okay, so we've been here since before seven, and it's now after three. So I think we have deserved, earned, and deserved some pool time. Yeah. So we're gonna head back and uh, do some pool hopping at our resort. So I want to check out the Mighty Ducks, but I've got to. I definitely need to go see Sorcerer Thank Mickey. You. Manny. But uh. Manny All right. But we hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And thanks for adventuring with us. Bye. Bye.